For WICR, I'm Nick Rippo. Good stuff, Nick Griffo. Love ya! That was a good one. That was a really good, good one. Good stuff, Griffo. What's going on, WSDR? Welcome back to Brunch with Abby, featuring me, Chelsea Taylor Harris, and that is Abby. What's Hello. good? What's good? Uh, not a lot on the international scale. Why? So, according, <laughs> we got a couple international stories to wrap up our hour. The first <laughs> one is from the New York Times. So, um, in, in an Afghan city called Kunduz, the Taliban um, announced that they w- withdrew completely from the city on Tuesday after only yes. a 15-day occupation of the city. Um, the attack um, and the occupation causes concerns of the con- of the Afghan military because several hundred insurgents from the Taliban overran 7,000 military troops, which is a very large difference in number. Holy and crap. And that causes a lot of problems. <coughs> And, and why is there problems because it, uh there were only a couple there was like several hundred people from the taliban that took over the city that was being protected by seven thousand troops from the afghan military oh which snap. causes people to question what exactly <laughs> how exactly the um afghan government is going to protect the other major cities in the country mm-hmm. um it, the taliban released a statement that they withdrew because they did not want to waste ammunition and they said that they could retake the city whenever they wanted because they had proven they could engage in urban warfare this is all according to the new york times um the americans aided the counterattack of the military to drive the taliban out with airstrikes and special ops ground forces so this does not look good for the afghan military why is that because it shows that they were not able to keep out the Taliban when they had obviously overwhelming more numbers. And so Mm -hmm. the other Afghan cities could be at risk because of this attack. (laughs) That's crazy. It is really not good. Why just can't we all just get along? Yeah, I don't know. I ask myself that every day when I look at the news. Why can't we all just get along? (laughs) (laughs) Okay, I've lost my... my, I I didn't have marbles as it is. Yeah. And I think I've lost it. Midterms week, it's okay. It's socially acceptable, right? I don't have any midterms, which is nice. Freshman probs. (laughs) OD, freshman probs. All right, our next international story has to do with Russia. And... John um, Russia. (laughs) Thank you, uh... Russian President Vladimir Putin. So the U.S. is expressing concern of Russia's airstrikes against Syria, and they're worried that they're doing more harm than good and killing more civilians than ISIS leaders, which is who they're trying to get rid of. They're trying to get rid of ISIS leaders, but they're killing more people than ISIS. I don't don't get these people. Darn ISIS, get a move, get a grip. Well, Russian President Vladimir Putin says that the airstrikes are to support the Syrian government, who is Russia's ally, and they are, and they have actually been successful. But I wonder. <laughs> but that's none of my business. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Kermit style. Putin makes a lot of people nervous. Putin makes me angry, mad. He makes me feel some type of way, and I don't like the type of way he makes me feel. He makes me thoroughly uncomfortable. Mm. I don't know. Mm. Don't want to say too much bad stuff. I might. Because then we'd be off the air. Yeah. Oh, well, JK, we're bomb.com. We're More always going to be here. than anything, to be honest. But anyways, so yeah, situation in the Middle East is not improving very much. Negative. Uh, I hope that it will improve, and I hope that someone will figure out something to do with it. Our next president, maybe, as long as it's not someone who doesn't know what's going on in the world. <laughs> Donald Trump, what? <laughs> what <laughs> um, Donald Trump. <laughs> so... Yeah, um, that's about all we have today. Yeah, I would like to add one more quick thing. I, my co-host Kate is going through a really rough time right now, so if you guys could keep her in your thoughts and prayers, I'd really appreciate that. Yes, look, and I know that you would too. So thank you very much, and it's been fun, play players. Uh, catch us back. Hopefully, Kate will be back next week for brunch with Abby and Kate at eleven a.m. Until then, peace, I'll, peace out. Peace out, home scouts. ICR presents This Moment in History. This neighborhood war has sent men, food, from the NBC 